Here are 10 facts about Panamanian golden frogs. Panamanian golden frogs aren't actually frogs, they're toads. We use the unique patterns on each frog to identify individuals. The Maryland Zoo in Baltimore houses about 50% of the entire United States population of Panamanian golden frogs. Panamanian golden frogs haven't been seen in the wild in over 10 years. The Maryland Zoo is working with researchers to solve issues about the golden frogs before they can be returned to the wild. The Maryland Zoo in Baltimore sends assistance to our partners in Panama to help with the reintroduction of the Panamanian golden frog. Earlier this year, I traveled with our reptile and amphibian collection and conservation manager to Panama to help in setting up new facilities for those frogs. Panamanian golden frog eggs take eight to 10 days to hatch into tadpoles. Baby Panamanian golden frogs start off jet black, and then in about two months, they start getting a little bit of a yellowish color, like this guy right here. He's really cute. Like most amphibians, Panamanian golden frogs, when they shed their skin, they also eat it. Panamanian golden frogs communicate by waving. They do have a call, but in the rushing water streams that they live in, it can be quite loud, and so they use semaphore to communicate. The males will wave their arms in order to show that this is their territory to other males and also to advertise themselves to females. To learn more about golden frogs, visit us this Saturday at Wild About Panamanian Golden Frogs Day.